Well, Halloween is just around the corner with festivities and haunted houses popping up all across central Indiana. Now, state inspectors are making the rounds to make sure your frightful visit doesn't have any unexpected scares. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet with the story now from the south side. Drew, we spoke to some families who say they come to haunted houses like this one as an alternative to going door to door, while others say it's far too scary. Well, scary or not, organizers say it's safe. If shooting bloodthirsty walkers is your family's idea of Halloween fun, Fright Manor on South Meridian Street in Indianapolis has a haunt for you. I think they'll be crying before they get out. She says that oh. we're the first ones to die, and I'm not doing that. She's the first one. <laughs> Take Take the treat. Treat. In Irvington, there's monsters, zombies, and Endermen at the annual Halloween Festival Sunday, but parents say there's no fear. Because it's mostly just good fun, and, and I can kind of control the scariness. All the demons and ghouls are out in the sunlight. For some parents, this is in addition to door-to-door -door trick or treating, while others tell RTB6 this is their safer alternative. It makes me a little nervous to have them just walking up to strangers and asking them for things. While scary, yes, managers say Fright Manor and other haunted houses are safe too. The estimated 90 plus across Indiana have to pass a state fire marshal inspection, checking lighting, capacity, fire extinguishers, and more. You could have a fire and, and it could be dangerous, but yeah, it's just something we never thought of when we were younger. Haunted houses like this one have to make sure the attractions are fire resistant and they also have to comply with a long list of rules and regulations. If not, there's a hefty fine. Reporting from Zombie Alley, Ebony Monet, RTV6. And haunted houses must be decorated with fire retardant materials and meet state minimums for door size and window openings.